It was fabulous. It was so worth the wait. I, I'm really excited and enthused about it. If you ever get a chance, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. This time. How was your ride there, Captain? At first, I was sort of uh, skeptical because I'm not a person who likes heights. You don't even feel like you're moving. Worth whatever the investment wants to do, it is worth it. And we get frequent flyer miles. The fourth one's yeah. free. It costs eighty thousand bucks to come back and forth. That's all. It's uh, it's like riding an escalator at the mall. It moves that slow. Here you go, Sheila. Good sandwiches. Yep. And then I got one. I want to take you to the little food. temple. Little tradition. Okay. What's the tradition now? The tradition started in 1783. Wow. By two brothers in France. Two brothers, their name is Montgolfier. Montgolfier. And those two brothers, they had a big paper factory. And they figured out when you burn paper, then you see the little black pieces of paper going up with the smoke. Ah, I see. That's how they fig and, figure and they out. And I think the smoke day. carries something. And later they figured out it was the heat of the smoke that did the work. So they made uh, they made paper bags because they had a paper factory. And look what happens what if you fill a paper bag with smoke. And it lifted the bag. Right. And they put weights underneath. And it, and every time they see the bag coming down again, they said, ah, because the smoke cools down, that's why it comes down. And at one time they made it so big because they want to fly by themselves. Uh -huh. They made it 12 meters high. Uh -huh. And they hang underneath. And one brother, he was able to lift himself a little bit from the ground. But he didn't know what happens there, if, if he can breathe. Or, uh, or anything like that. So he said to his brother, let's put a few animals up to look what happened. <laughs> Duck, a goat and a rooster in a small basket. Uh -huh. That huge bag filled with smoke, they let uh -huh. it go. And because of the smoke cooling down slowly, the animals came down again a few kilometers further. And they were still alive. I see. And then they said, okay, it looks good. Let's go. <laughs> no, it was allowed. So they went to the king, Louis XVI, and they asked the king, we have a new thing. We as human beings can probably be in the air. Is it allowed to try? And the king said, there's no problem, but I want to see it. You have to do it from my garden. So the brothers Montgolfier, they went to Paris, to the king's palace, and they started preparing the balloon. The king invited all his friends. And at the morning of the 17th, of the 21st of November, 1783, it was the day that he should go to fly. The king went to have a look before takeoff, and he said, oh, that is very dangerous. Most probably you're going to die. <laughs> so what he did, he sent his staff to the prison. And in that time in France, you had uh, oh dead God. sentence people, criminals, they have to be dead sentenced with the guillotine. Right. Ew. And the king, the staff, took two of those guys, he said, today, it's your turn to be dead sentenced, <laughs> but uh, no guillotine. We have uh, something different, a mongolfiere. That's oh, what they still call a balloon a mongolfiere in France. A mongolfiere. So the prisoners went with the staff of the king. The king said to those criminals, if you survive, the whole stuff, I will free. give you a noble title. You're set free. It was not a bad deal for the criminals, but then the friends of the king start complaining. Uh -huh. They said, how can you give a noble title to criminals? <laughs> we don't agree. And the king said, what? What else we do? Because the brothers Montgolfier, they have to prepare the balloon, they have to launch the balloon, right. so they cannot go. And if they die, they invented the balloon. So everything has to start all over again. <laughs> and then the, the friends of the king said, okay, we will go. Two volunteers, okay. uh, Marquis, Marquis d'Alane and his friend Pilate de, de Roger. They said to the king, okay, send the criminals back, we will go. And they went. They flew only 20 minutes, uh -huh. but they survived the whole thing. And the king was so proud, uh -huh. he said to all the audience, he said, everybody who is going to fly in the Mongolfjärde and come down safely, wow. I will give him a noble title. So also, you, because you flew today a balloon in Mongolfjärde, I give you a noble title, and we do it with champagne from France, because the balloon is from France, and champagne from France. And I have to put one small drop on your head. Okay. <laughs> to receive your title. Okay. Okay. So, the Duke of Bye. 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 I am a baroness. Oh, I have to do it like this now. Thank you all. <laughs> Smooth, wonderful flight, one of the highlights in my life. It was great. Plus we had two takeoffs and two landings. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a pleasure to be with you. You are a gentleman. Thank you. My birth certificate. Glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you again.